What up, y'all? Welcome back to another M21 draft. I'm going to use this token entry. So I actually bought the Mastery Pack, I'm going to be honest with you. It gave me a bunch of free rewards on the second level. Plus, I'm real close to getting this Magmut. And then I really want this Combat K9. <laughs> and this. I want all these dogs, dude. Um, but it came with this. And it automatically gave me a draft entry. And it's like 30... This is like 35 or 34 or something but the draft was going to cost me 1500 anyway so it's only like 1900 so i'm like is all of this worth 1900 gems like probably for me anyway so anyway let's do a draft what up jlink what up gimset was that a humble brag i don't even think what's humble about that i don't even think i was bragging I just told you I spent money on something that's actually probably worthless. Oh man, Combat Canine. I just want that Peaceful Pup. I don't know if I can get to 80 though. 80 is real high. Can you guys quickly give me a rundown of how I get levels and things? Okay, so here's a question. We, we we saw that Teferi's tutelage was a trap last time. What if we take it first pick and build around it? What if we get more? Oh, God. Ghostly Pilfer is just very good, though. <laughs> can, Super Fritz, can you get that rundown to me by the end of the day? It's either Pilfer or Tutelage, guys. I'm going to take Tutelage. And we're just going to hope to get, like, three toots. This guy's very good. Especially if our goal is to draw more cards. Tide Skimmer? Oh, yes. And ideally, it's got to be better than... It's got to be better than Jeskai Elder, right? This is a flyer. And it's got a three butt, so it dodges a uh, shock. Yeah, we're taking that guy. <laughs> uh target creature is flying okay exile creature or planes orchid control makes a 4-4 four, four angel it's actually not terrible like changing your worst creature in limited into a 4-4 four, four flyer is very good well I mean the 4-4 four, four flyer is very good hmm it could just be living on a standard bear. Like if we lose three dudes and then draw three cards. I mean, a three-one flash for three is actually just fine, and if it draws us one card, I think it's pretty okay. Keen Guildmaster is fine. Glide Master is fine, but this also gives us access to decent removal and cards like Death Bloom Thal. This is like the only card we can take in this pack anyway. I think that standard bearer is dead. <laughs> you know, I think so too. Did you think any more on some historic? I mean, not really. I'd have to find like a deck. Or, like, I I'm sure I'll play it. I just haven't. I think this pack is good, just not for us. Thrill is good. Th Turn to Slag is good. Spellgorge of Weird is good. Kinetic Augur is good. All these cards are pretty decent. If we're staying to black, we're probably just going to take this. Is this reserved? I mean, Thrills draws cards, so, so does Kinetic Augur. But there's no real guarantee that we'll see more good red cards. Okay, now we have a... These packs are pretty bad. Like, I guess Tomanum is fine. Like, it's a 3-3. It benefits from us drawing more cards. I 
You could have two Hondans right now. It's true. Oh yeah, library larcenist. Let's do it. It's got everything really cage zombie or alchemist gift. Each mount loses X life and you gain X life for X is the number of shrines you control. It's not terrible. This is also even better if we get a blue shrine. And it does keep us alive. I'm combing my beard. Kerwit, these updates are fantastic. Uh, meh. I think the lifelink's fine there. That's no good. No. Exile target non-life permanence controller creates a one white soldier. It's actually pretty good. Yeah, I'll just take this. Eventually. There you go, we did it. Uh, Dismal Backwater is actually fine. Sacrifice creature, gain a life, and draw a card. It could actually be decent. The drawing a card part is really what I'm, what I'm attracted to here. <sighs> Terrible. Terrible. None of these cards are any good. Oh, Sanctum of All came back? Maybe we are just in on five color. What if that green Honden comes back here? Are we just all in on Hondens? <laughs> the answer is no. I actually don't mind a Wish Coin Crab. It blocks lots of things. Ooh, Basri Ket. You can't choose an untapped creature. I feel like I gotta take the Basri Ket. <laughs> the problem is with Enthralling Hold is they're getting an they're getting an attack out of it and that you're not gonna be able to block after you take their creature. That being said, it is still a control magic. I mean, Basri is really good, but we're not white and we're not in a deck. And Basri is a mythic, which I kind of like. I'm going to take this. I think it's better for our deck. Even though it means passing Basri. It doesn't feel good at all. Why do I just think all these green cards are just so good? Like, Cultivate's great, Garak's Uprising is good, Mauler is good, Gnarled Sage is good. Your voice is super relaxing, like a massage for my ears. That's a great compliment. I appreciate that. <laughs> That's fantastic. I think I'd rather have a Cage Zombie than a... Or a Vidalin. Actually, I'd rather have the 2-drop. Guys, we have not seen another Tefri's tutelage. 3 2, and Aries Mattafi returns to one non spirit creature. Oh, that's great. Yeah, 3 2 flyer for 5 that bounces a guy. Wow. I haven't even seen this card. Tefri's protege. And we're still building around the hope that people are going to pass us uh, tutelages in this pack and the next. We just take salt water, swift water, just in case we get uh, a way to splash. <laughs> just embrace the. I want to take thrill. Actually, thrill is great, and we just took a swift water cliff. So, who knows? Um, yeah, I think Gloomsower is fine. I mean, it's just a big fat idiot that we can attack with if we have to. Yeah, Blood Glutton's playable. 
new ultimatum deck is fun i really miss playing fires ultimatum fires oh yeah i i agree that's i was trying to kind of emulate that feel with the deck because i thought it was really enjoyable so glad to know that i have somewhat succeeded and if you guys don't know what they're talking about you can check out my article this week on coolstuffinc.com called giving out ultimatums and standard thank you go leave a comment on the article rad train conductor thank you for the resub six months i'm glad you're still employed i miss playing fires anything <laughs> Yeah, buddy, we know. We know. Oh, I do still need to update my sub message. You're right. I agree with you. I'll take it to rest. Hmm. Yes, the rent goal as well. I started trying to build the Golos deck tonight. It's going to take some workshopping. <laughs> Buddy, I bet. I like the bone sound when I take one of these skeletons. All right. This is a two mana two one. That's actually fine. None of these cards. I'm going to take this. Okay. Two Teferi's tutelages. Damn it. Another Roman Ghostlight. And a Liliana's Devotee. And a Grasp. This pack is actually pretty decent. You like I think I think Vermling Ghost Light's better than Grasp. Like I'd rather bounce like their six six or five five or four five idiots. Man, that's wild. I also think Liliana's Devotee is just very good. I think Ghost Light is really good. Well, again. Experimental Overlord. Create an XX blue and red weird creature where X is the number of instant sorcerers in your grave, then you may return instant. That seems great, but we don't actually have a ton. So. I kind of like Village Rights. Short Sword? I like Village Rights because it lets us draw two. Come on, tutelage. One more tutelage is all I want. I kind of like just trying Kinetic Augur. I don't think there's anything better. Like, I don't want a second one of these. I don't care about either of these. But Augur could be decent if we actually play the red cards. Oh, another Enthralling Hold. That's fascinating. Hmm. One, two, three, four. Yeah, I'm just going to take the enthralling hold. I think it's just very good. Increase your opponent's construct negative one, negative O. Discard it. Look at the top two cards of your library. One of them in your hand and the other into your graveyard. Uh, this card seems great early and great late. Another Tide Skimmer. Okay, so we only got one Teferi's Tutelage, unfortunately. Tide Skimmer also seems good with multiple roaming ghost lights. Obsessive Stitcher. Draw a card, then discard a card. O3 Looter. Return a creature from your graveyard to the battlefield? Yep, that seems good. Sometimes if I eat too much ice cream, I'll get some tutelage. 
Why are you like this? Thank you. Take a bad deal. Barcode, welcome back, my dude. Thanks so much for the resub. Appreciate you. Now I'll take short sword. This is for Kerwit. This is 27 cards. I don't think Vidalion Arcanist does anything for us. It's only instant or sorcery, and we have very, very few. God, there's so many big and, like, threatening black creatures. Or green creatures, rather. I think Sanctum is still just fine as, like, a one-off just to, like... Get some value. Tome Anima can go. I don't care about you. I do kind of like Wish Coin Crab just as a solid ground guy. I don't think I care about Witch's Cauldron. Okay, let's see what we got here. This is 17 lands and 39 cards. Oh, we had two lands in there. Oh, so we don't actually have to make cuts at all. That's pretty good. Hmm. We could also discard Waker of Waves and then play like Rise again. Well, we have to cut the cliffs. Gift rights is fine. Black card sanctum is fine. Yes, 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 yes. Yeah. Are we playing tutelage again? I just feel like this is not a tutelage deck, and I kind of like adding bad deal and second black guard. <laughs> Like, the last time we played Tutelage, we just didn't have enough for it. It was just terrible, so. I work air cargo and was strapping down a large plane engine with two other guys when one stopped, looked around, and said, um, the plane is moving. Sure enough, door closed and plane is on the taxi. We had to go upstairs. Oh, wow. <laughs> Uh, hey buddy, we're kind of, uh, working on the plane right now. Um. I think this looks good. We got some decent top end. We got flight and removal. Remove, like, two enthralling holds seems good. This deck seems interesting. Okay, I am going to remove Teferi's Tutelage as my spirit card because, come on, it's not anymore. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> Kerwin sent me a gif of a crab with a knife, and he's like, it's a wish coin crab with a short sword. So that's pretty funny. Yeah, I'll keep this. Oh, yeah, look at my new guy. Yeah, Skeletal Archer is good in every limited format because they it's a 3-3 three, three body that just has the potential to either kill someone or make really good combat trades for you. I kind of just want to block here. And then we're going to top deck Skeletal Archer. I'm going to feel real silly.
I kind of just want to block and loot to guarantee a fifth land because it feels kind of important here. Oh, that's pretty good. Uh, let's get rid of Stitcher here. Oh, that's actually great. Because even if we can't cast a 5-drop now, we can still get rid of the Charger. Assuming they play something. really amazing. I'm pretty sure I gave this to them. <sighs> Indestructible, right? Yeah, no blocks. Take five. Yep, that's pretty good. Wow, wish I had a wish I had a land. Sure, I guess we're going to three. Yep, that's probably game, because we couldn't draw a fifth land in seven turns. Otherwise, we could bounce this guy, or bounce this guy. Block. But now we play a blocker, and they kill us with either one of these. Because they had a planeswalker. So we can actually make a blocker here, and we're kind of hoping to hit a land. Okay. Remember when we're going to turn to design crit damage? So they make two one ones. We have to block here and here. We take two. We go to one. All right. Let's see how they kill us. I don't know why you <sighs> cool. Yep. That was me nice. Literally just lost. Because I couldn't draw a fifth land and I had three five drops in hand. Oh, also because they had Baz Riquet. Forgot about that one. Oh, what up, Badger? I'm gonna mulligan. Cool. Oh, I have to put two back. That's right, because... Because, you know, you mulligan five, and that's how it works. Mm -hmm. Cool.
Well, 2-3 does block this guy, which is not terrible. What is the game plan now? Attacking with creatures and killing our opponent. I did indeed get a haircut. Um, I don't have another flyer, but I can steal this next turn. I just think this is better because it leaves them with a guy on board. Like, that's a two for one, so that's decent. Kirby, you gotta stop going to sleep, buddy. It's unbelievable. How is it a three for one? We traded, oh, cause we get the creature. Yeah, that's a good point. I'm mad weak. <laughs> oh man. Oh wow, that's fascinating. What? That's so weird, like this guy has lifelink. I went to the bookstore and asked if they had anything on turtles. Hardback? Yes, with little legs. <laughs> I'll take three. My turn. Okay, well, let's see what you have. Okay, I don't really care about that. We return another creature you control to its owner's hand. Sure. They did not, as you can imagine. Sorry, I'm not home right now. I'm walking in the spider room. I lost my mood ring today. I don't know if that's. I don't know if that's true. But you don't know how you feel about. It. Badger can't even make a statement in the chat without people being like, Alright, how does this dad joke end? It was going to be a joke. I knew. We all knew. I was like, Badger doesn't own a mood ring. People haven't owned mood rings since like 1998, man. Sure. It's got two to two to tap a thing. Okay. Sorry, I'm not home right now. I'm walking in the spot where they leave a message and I'll call you back. So I'm actually tempted to rights here because because this is eight damage. So if they <laughs> that's amazing. Well, the only dude in the world who draws two lands off of rights when he already has eight lands. Yep. 
That's exactly what I was afraid of. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight. what I was afraid of. Drawing the fucking mythic that I passed them that they can't win a game without. <sighs> Amazing. That's your lesson, kids. Never pass mythics. Just take them. Doesn't matter if they're in your deck or not. <sighs> Thank you. Badger with a gifted sub. I'll keep this. You should start a journal of these moments, why? So I can look back in misery and remember all the worst times of my magic playing career. <laughs> these memories are best left forgotten. Oh my god, how do you get these fucking Godzilla lands in the in the client? What is a shrub? <laughs> they don't got shrubs in Brazil? That's wild. Oh, do we just get to attack with this guy and draw a card? Oh boy, give it to me. Oh, we're doing it. Oh my god. So I can never just I can never get him actually. Can I see the menu, please? The mana, please. Oh, dear. <laughs> drawing a card. Drawing a card. Everybody's going to draw a card. Wish I hit a land, but I did not. Give it death touch and kill that dude. Bieber heard that word before in all these three decades in the meme industry. Well, shrubs aren't aren't memery, to be fair. They're just they're just things that exist in the real world. I feel like you block here, and I think I'm just fine with that. This guy's drawing me like four cards. Plus, he could just take it. He tells these jokes to fill an emptiness he feels. You can say he's dad inside. <laughs> oh, man. They're like tempted. They're like, oh, God, do I just block this guy again? Like, we've drawn, like, four cards off this guy. Oh my god, we get to draw five. Oh boy, that's exciting. I'm gonna draw a card, because I want to hit a land here. Um... Let's get rid of Blood Gutten. Bl gutten? Glutton? And I'll just play land. Mark, I don't know if you do live in the real world. You could be a figure of my, my, my imagination for all I know. So I'm going to attack with two of these and they're both going to trigger. So I'm going to draw three cards next turn. I'll still lose. Okay, well. Oh, dang. That's really sad. Look at all these card drawing. Whoop, whoop, whoop. You think I got a second island in the deck anywhere? Yeah, I didn't think so. <laughs> it was a pigment of my imagination. Yeah. 
attack your doggy. Okay. You got it. I'm running away with me. Okay. Um. Let's loot. I don't think crabs do us any favors. I kind of like an island. Just going to get rid of that now. Oh, there we go. We did it. But it run up five, six, seven. They don't have counter spells. Kerwin, have a good night, buddy. I'll chat with you tomorrow, I'm sure. Hmm. It's just my imagination running away with me. Hmm, I think we just didn't turn here. Hell, you could be stuck in a hole full of water. Is that true? Can you can you can you show me how that would be accurate? You know we mean well. <laughs> God damn it! Oh, wow. How many cards do we have? Fourteen versus twenty-five. We've drawn like eleven extra cards this game. Oh boy. Five, six, seven, eight. I think it's just, I think it's got to be this guy. It's funny how this one, this one gaggle master is really keeping us at bay here. Oh, that's a gambler. I don't even want to loot anymore because, well, you know, reasons. So they just block with these two and then we can get it back. Let's start the pressure. Yep, that's exactly what we said they would do. You gotta block this guy. I have 13 cards in our deck, like I'm not super eager to draw more cards, but we have time. Goosen are dangerous. I really hope you don't fall in there. You know, just some well wishes. <laughs> oh, God damn it. These are my friends. Oh, wow. It's whenever... Oh. Oh, wow. They take four here? Oh, and this guy just kills them. Unless they have, like... Oh, they're going to swindle? What? That doesn't... Oh, because lifelink. Um, yeah, that's fine. Oh, 
We have one, two, three, four, five, six. You guys are like lifelink, lifelink, lifelink. Ricky has lifelink. It's my lifelink and I want it now. I mean, we probably should have bounced to pre-combat, but I didn't think that did anything. Not really, anyway. Sure. Uh-huh. I mean, eventually you're just gonna have to attack with these guys, right? It's my bird and I want it now. So if we attack with all of these guys, right? These two in the air, this guy on the ground. We can pump this guy on five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So we want three, three, and four. They block here, they take two. They go to two. I mean, they have to block with this guy. We draw a card. Yeah, we're definitely going to reanimate Gloomsaur next at the end of our turn. I'm just trying to figure out if this is worth it. Like, we draw a card, which is pretty nice. They, yeah, this is actually fine. Also, getting this guy in the graveyard could be good. Oh, also, if they block here, we can just shoot this dude. That's pretty good. That's real good. I'll probably just let this guy die. Because now we can go 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10... Yeah, that's fine. Yeah. So now they're kind of, they kind of have to attack here. Yeah, all right. Call JG Birdworth, 877 bird now. They're my birds and I want them now. This is like the most boring reanimate card ever, right? Return a creature from your graveyard to the battlefield. Like, they all had good abilities up until now. Like, for five mana, you'd get, like, a plus one, plus one counter. Or give it lifelink or something. Oh, Barcode. Have a good night, buddy. Or don't. You know what? I'm not your dad. So... Um, yeah, we'll keep it. Oh, I guess it is a common reanimate. That's a good point. As a common reanimate, it's, it's, I guess it's on, it's on par. Revitalize in decks is pretty weird. Badger with the gifted sub. To, to no, no surprise to anyone. 
Thank you, buddy. I appreciate you, my dude. Badger, how's the new uh, how's the new living situation going? And have you started classes yet? When do you start classes, my dude? Do classes? I guess I was gonna be like, do classes even uh, still happen? But I'm like, oh wait, I live in America and nothing happens. But in in Australia, it's super cool because you can literally just do normal shit again because they know how to quarantine themselves like normal. Um, yeah, no, tax is fine. Badger with the other gifted sub. Oh, they just hit two lands. Wow. Swift response. Okay, this is actually kind of cool. So here's what we can do. We can write this. Draw two. Resolve that. Draw a card. Discard. I don't know, something unexciting. Probably Swamp because we're going to draw another card here. And so we've got two more cards to draw. And now we just have a handful of gas. So that's pretty cool. I'm pretty sure there's no coming back from this. But... Like, my, they killed our guy and we drew three cards. The joy of not paying rent is exceedingly high. Oh my god, yeah, that sounds amazing. Up on the rooftop, lickety split. Badger doesn't pay any rent. Mm, that's probably the end of it, I guess. There's, it wasn't... There wasn't much going on. Yeah, this game is so far from, from not over. Oh boy. Yeah, that's a hand. Okay. Man, it's almost like, Badger, did you not have high speed internet before, previously? I don't think you did, actually. Wasn't it, like, really slow? And there were times where you were, like, trying to watch the stream, but it's kind of choppy. Badger doesn't pay his own rent, so he pays for Franks. You know, that's not too far from the reality of the situation. Actually, let me change my thing. I'm just going to start it at zero. Because it's going to be October rent, and it's only, like, mid-August. So, like, that'll be, you know, we have time. I'll just get myself something nice with the, with the, with that leftovers. Oh, were you in, you were in Florida, right? Was that when you were in Florida? Megalodon Tooth Fund number two. I still haven't picked out a tooth, guys. I still have the... The tab is still up. I still have a wish list of where I'm, like, keeping track of the ones I like. We have to mulligan at this hand. I just haven't picked one out yet, though. Because I just want to, I want to get a good one. It's one tooth. Oh, was it Reno? Didn't you go to Florida? What am I thinking? I'm going to put one of these dudes back. Um, so zero nine thirty one thirty. Okay. Oh, now we got spook, spook spoopy Octo October rent. Ooh. Okay. I was thinking of Florida rent. What happened? Did you watch a man die in Reno? See, that's funny. That's a Johnny Cash reference, in case anyone didn't get it. Also, like, Badger, when was that? Because that was, like, right... Wasn't that right before the pandemic? Like, me and Katie and some friends went to Disney, uh, if you guys remember, back in February. And it was, like, two weeks before everything broke out. 
and it was pretty wild. Like, I feel like we we really dodged a bullet. We planned our vacation. If we planned the vacation a month later or two weeks later or three weeks later, it would have been super shitty. July last year? It seems more recent than that, but obviously it was not. And people were like, wasn't it, wasn't it more recent than that? And you're like, no, it was. this was when it was. Oh, we just get to it. What is this? Three mana, oh, 03 attacking creatures you control. Why didn't you play that first? That's, well, that's fascinating. I kind of just want to kill this thing. With a gift. Or we could block the awful snout. Truffle snout? My three subs in this channel are a gift. That just means you gotta pay it forward. This feels weird. I feel weird about it. I think it's okay, because if they play a blocker, we get to Roman Ghost Light. The dollar is very expensive to us. That, that makes sense. Old Porta. Either way, glad to have you here. Oh god. Okay, okay. Okay, so I'm probably just playing this. There's no, like, they're both three power, but this guy's more versatile. And this guy also gives us something if we block and trade. Don't worry, we got you covered, yeah. It's either Badger or Super Fritz that are gonna... That are gonna keep you... See, look, now we got a Skeletal Archer for this dummy. Give me that Truffle Snout. Big truffs. Let me see them truffs. I would like to draw fewer lands. I think eight is probably my limit. I'm going to keep one in case I have to start discarding from, like, Obsessive Searcher, Stitcher. I don't know what they can have, but I'm not going to not block here, so... Yeah, that's fine. I mean... If they have two feet, like, it's like, okay, cool. That's actually fine. That's still a trade. I mean, they do have the option to gain life now, but it's just a 2-2. Two -two. And they're at 6, so they kind of have to. I also feel like archers should thematically have reach. I agree with you 1000%. Yep, that's a good reason why we... ...kept the island in hand. I love Twitter sometimes. Trending in Australia, ADHD. God, I, I would take that any day over whatever's trending in America. Are they just dead? Oh, they're dead. Man, this is sad that our deck, I think our deck is real good. And we just happen to lose to Basri Kit. <laughs> Twice. So. I'm just bringing it to rest because they had lots of tricks. So. 
Also, do we have a skeletal archer in the sideboard? Or are they both in the main deck? Yeah, all right, cool. Because they had two sky scanners, so. Bring in the tutelage. Uh, nah, B, I'm good. Bring in the toot. Waker doesn't exist. I don't know what that means. Sorry, sir. I think you've been. I think you've been drinking. Um, I think this hand is fine. Like we have like three turns to draw a two or three drop. That's actually a decent one to have early. Oh man, and we have a archer for that guy. Okie dokie. Unless they go Basri Cat here. Oh, no. Okay. I mean, that guy's real good. This guy feels uncommon. I don't know why it's common. It's kind of weird to me, but what do I know? Unfortunately, we don't get to do anything here except for gain a life. So we take 5, go to 13, but then we go to 14. This is surprisingly solid over a long enough timeline. And we're just hoping they don't have Ranger's Guile, I guess. Where were you last turn? Cause then I don't wanna see you in the dark. Not all dogs are good boys. Some are good girls, boy. That ain't, ain't that the truth. Although, Hunter's a good boy. He's having a little snooze. Wow, tr wow, four sky scanners. Jeez. This tide skimmer's got to hold down the fort. Waker of Waves? What are you saying right now? Let me look up Waker of Waves. I feel like I should know this card, but I don't. Oh, the 7-7. Seven, seven. Oh, they just didn't attack. So they don't have a trick at hand, right? That's pretty good to know. Boy, I sure would like a land. I guess we'll play this. Arctic has like no removal. <laughs> you got it. That's just fine. It's not a huge deal. Turn a permanent from your graveyard to your hand. <sighs> yep, they're kind of overwhelming us here. Land? That'll do, pig. They're overwhelming us less now. Oh, sack that to give it an instructable. <laughs> uh, no, 
Cortex. <laughs> so I'm bad at everything. Winks with both eyes. <laughs> okay, so I have two cards in hand. Yep, that's a good one. Yeah. Don't like that. Boy, you guys can really see how black is the bottleneck here, huh? This is this is not fun either. <sighs> yeah, we go double block. They can kill one. Had a customer walk in and say he was looking for some glasses, drinking, drinking. And I immediately said, they're on your head. When I got home, I found three children and a pair of white New Balances waiting for me. I don't... Hold on. Had a customer walk in. Because you made a dad joke. Got it. Got it. It was almost possible. I was like, wait a minute. I don't get it. Hold on. I don't get it. This is confusing. Master blockers. One here. Is this right? So you have to kill one of these. And I get to trade one of these for this. This trades with this guy. But then we get to use lifelink on here, I guess. Wait. Did I... The archer was on the wrong guy. Yeah, that was... That was a mis misplay. That was was known as misplay, my dudes. Um, seventeen to twelve still. I think we're still decent shape. Yeah, that's fine. Waker of waves in the world today takes everything you got. Wouldn't you like to get away? Two more lands. Two more islands at that, so we can't actually play the cards in our hand. What did they have? Two lands, okay. Wouldn't you like to get away? Double Dread Maws, huh? Okie dokie. No attack with double dread maw. Six, seven, eight. This is nine. No, do not use a black for that. Holy crap. That's terrible. I have two black mana. I need them both. Six, 
Sometimes you wanna go. Hmm. Hmm. Fascinating. Pass to blockers. One. Two. Four. Wait, this is not what I wanted. Oh, yes, it is. Yes, it is. I'm fine with blocking with that guy. Yeah, because we're going to draw like three cards here, presumably. They also do have to deal with Sanctum. Sanctum's dealt like 12 damage this game. Of course. Never don't top deck that. Okay, so. Well, we're going to draw three. They have two, two, one, 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 one. So they can go two, three, four, five. Yeah, we can just end the turn here. <laughs> wow. Apparently stealing their seven, seven is big game. Thank you guys for watching. Slam those like and subscribe buttons. I feel like my luck in M21 has been pretty decent despite losing to Basri Ket in round one. If you want to support the channel, Check out manatraders.com. Use the promo code RATTRAIN along with the link down below. You can get 20% off the first three months of any subscription. Let's claim our prizes. I think our record is 3021, 3021 right now in limited. So I'm going to open these packs. You guys can also check out my article on Cool Stuff Inc. every Wednesday. I just had one go up with a pretty sweet team or ultimatum list in standards. Be sure and check that out. And, uh,. Be sure, if you're enjoying the content on YouTube, to like and subscribe. Those are definitely things that help me out, and they mean a ton, and it's just a simple thing you can do. Thank you guys for watching. I'll see you next time.